I'm in Las Vegas. From the casinos to the clubs, the pools and the strip bars, it's the best place in the world for men and women to get their freak on. Damn. Seek the freak! This man is a legend with the ladies. I can only imagine. Oh, baby, you ain't got to imagine. We got this on video. You don't want to see that. Seek the freak is back in town. I don't know that dude. I'm in the house. And it's still the number one destination for couples to do the craziest thing of all. Get married. Mom! Are you in the adjoining suite? Once the door closes, you can barely hear a thing. Fortunately, mm -hmm. I arrived the only way a sane person should. I'm talking about solo, people. Hey, that Lambo okay right there, right? It's my car. Let's go. This is your bachelor party. The next 24 hours, the boys will be with the boys. And the girls with the girls. In this battle of the sexes, that was determined to keep us ahead of the girls. We're rolling with the pros. Let's go! Girl, I must Blissful night, gentlemen. We are free from all of our obligations, all of our responsibilities. Oh, God! This ain't over, Randy. Hey, Randy, I'm Bennett. Bennett, get your ass on. I don't know why women can't have just as much fun as the men. Candace, meet Idris. <laughs> Let's show him how it's done. Oh, boy. You stole the boy's ride? Genius. <laughs> Get around. I ordered the pimped out party bus with a stripper pole in. Do we look like a group of guys is gonna roll to a spot or something like this? <laughs> As a matter of fact, you do. It's like to the brand new villain, to the music, my heart beat This is Vegas! Oh. 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 Hey, oh. Oh. Hey, oh. Hey, Are we in here right now? Let me do all the talking. No, no, no. Because no. I'm a season one holder of eyes. Have you seen it? No. Exactly, so you don't have the knowledge. Everybody listen up! Think like a man, too. It's too deep! I can't smoke! It's like finding Nemo with this dude. Should we help him? Grab me! Nah. So, earlier today, I reviewed the teaser trailer for Tammy, starring Melissa McCarthy. And in my review, I asked, just how long is it that Melissa McCarthy can get away with playing the exact same character so frequently? And I have to say, I'm starting to feel the same way about Kevin Hart. I love Kevin Hart, I love Melissa McCarthy, but they're really doing the same type of role in the same type of movie uh, very often. So I just, I don't know at what point are we going to get tired of it. Uh, now with this movie, I think that not only does Kevin Hart seem to be doing the same, but I think there are a few other things working against it. Uh, on the one hand, uh, in addition to the repetitiveness of Kevin Hart's performance, I feel that I've seen this movie very recently with Las Vegas, with, you know, uh, Michael Douglas and, you know, retirees, you know, Robert De Niro and, and Morgan Freeman, and Kevin Klein, I might as well name them all, going to Las Vegas and also having a bachelor party. And that was a very good movie. And of course, we've seen the Hangover film. So I feel like I've seen this movie already. So that's another problem I have with it. I'm just like, you know what? I've seen the travelogue of Vegas. I don't need to see another one. Uh, and, and then the third thing that I think is a count against this movie, and just these movies in general, uh, that focus on, you know, a largely black cast, uh, is that they really need to find some new talent. I think that the people who are starring in these films are phenomenal, uh, but, you know, you have Kevin Hart and Michael Ealy and Regina Hall, who just earned about last night that has just come out. So it's like almost like the exact same movie, and they're not playing particularly different characters besides Kevin Hart. Michael Ealy and Regina Hall are playing similar characters. So you're just kind of like, it gets hard to differentiate them from movie to movie, and it almost becomes like a theater troupe. And I think that's something that Tyler Perry's movies have suffered from, having same cast, same feel. Uh, you know, it's almost like, okay, now watch this group of people put on this show and then on this show. And I think it's eventually going to hurt these films. And I know there's a lot of talent out there. I'd like to see maybe some, you know, mix it up with diversity in the, in, you know, why can't we have a film that has equal numbers of white and black characters that, you know, that can maybe reach a bigger demographic. Uh, I think that's a problem. But also, I'm sure there's lots of great uh, you know, African-American and just, you know, global black talent that would love to break into Hollywood. And so I don't understand why they're not trying to get some of those people into film and, you know, hope, uh, holding open casting calls and just looking for new talent. Go get some of the, those talent, the talented, like, you know, um, uh, Kenan, Kenan Thompson uh, and Jay Farrow from SNL. Why not put them, one of them in the movie? I just think there's other talent out there and I'm just getting tired of seeing the same actors in the same roles in the same movie. 
Uh, so, but who knows? I mean, these movies have all been very successful up until now. Uh, just like Melissa McCarthy's movies have been very successful up until now. So uh, maybe it's just me. So I'm curious, how do you guys feel? Are you, get, are you reaching the breaking point here? Or can you just not get enough? Uh, write your thoughts down below, and I hope you check out these other trailer reviews right now.